Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I'm having a linen sale. So it's a fun variety. I've got towels and doilies and scarves and I don't know what all. <laughs> I've got a really fun variety. Um, but each item is going to have a price and a number associated with it. If you would like to purchase any of the items, just be the first person to put the number that's associated with that item in the comments below. I'll reply back and let you know if you've got it or if someone else has already claimed it. And if you have questions on any of the items that I am showing, please uh, put those in the comments and I will reply to you as soon as I can. All right, so let's get started. The first item I have is a set of hand towels. Really great for kitchen, fun orange set, wonderful for summer. These are approximately 24 inches by 15 inches. So typical um, hand towel for kitchen size. And for the pair of these, and they do feel to be cotton, I didn't find any tags on these. So I'm not 100% sure, but they look like they're cotton. Uh, for the pair, they're going to be $4 and they're number one. All right, up next is another set of hand towels, this time in blue. So we've got solid blue and a stripe blue. These also are approximately like 25 by 17. Again, that kitchen towel size. They do appear to be cotton also. And for the pair of towels, they are $4.00 number two and yep i'm starting off with some kitchen towels so here's a set in yellow again cotton uh 25 by 17 kitchen towel size but lovely white and yellow stripes and for the pair of these, they are $4, number three. All right, something that isn't a hand towel <laughs> is a, a set of doilies. And I paired these two together because they're both very lacy. Um, this has some beautiful hand stitching. Want to make sure, yep, this is the right side. The back side is very clean, so it is hard to tell the difference. Uh, this doily measures about 16 inches by 10 inches, and it has six of these panels that have the hand stitched uh, flowers. And then it is paired with this little doily. Now it is hard to see, and I'm not sure you're going to be able to, but right around here, there is wording. I think it's in German, um, but this doily is about five inches. Oh, you can see it a little better there with the background. So yeah, about five inches on this fun doily. And for the pair of these, they're going to be $10 number four and i have a set of doilies next they are all the same pattern there are four doilies that are three different sizes okay so i'll try to show them all together here there we go. So one is longer, like a dresser scarf, a buffet cover, could even be a table runner. So the longest one here is 29 inches by 14 inches. The medium sized one is 21 inches by 14 inches. No, by 11 inches. 
So the big one is 14 inches wide. The medium one is 11 inches wide. And then there are two of these smaller ones and they measure 11 and a half by nine and a half. And so there are two of these. And so you will get all four of these doilies, doilies, dresser, scarf, table runner. Uh, so all four, they are $14, number five for the four piece set, $14, number five. Next, I have some fabric. So this is a beautiful pink uh, heart and rose pattern. And it has these little, um, oh gosh, are they blue dots? They kind of look, yeah, they kind of do look blue. Hard to tell, they are so small, blue dots on there. Uh, this fabric is 44 inches uh, wide and it's 27 inches of 47 inches of fabric at 44 wide there we go uh, this is a really soft cotton very smooth cotton and just a beautiful pattern and so again this is 47 by 44 for the fabric and this is going to be eight dollars and it is number six Okay, next I have a scarf. Woo, there we go. Beautiful blue roses. This is all blue. Oh, it's so pretty. This is 53 inches long by 13 inches. It does not say who made it, but there is a care label and it is 100% polyester made in Korea. It does have an RN number, so you could look that up. I didn't have a chance to. Uh, but again, this one is 53 inches long by 13. Or I'll show, I'll show it on this side also. Oh, it's so pretty. And the beautiful scarf is going to be nine dollars and it is number seven and then i have a red and black scarf now i did notice this has two holes in it i wonder if a uh, maybe a scarf pin was used that did leave let me get it right Oops, right there, you can see those two holes. So I wanna point out that there are those in there. Uh, this measures 31 by 30 inches. So it's more of a square design. Does not say who made it. Um, it does feel polyester. Um, and because of the two holes in it, it's going to be priced at $6, number eight. So $6, number eight. Okay, next one is also a red and black, but it's more of that longer style. This has such a pretty design. Oh, look at that. It's got fringe on the end. And then a pattern in the middle. And then that beautiful pattern repeats at the end. Here is the reverse side of it. And this measures uh, 35 inches long by six and a half wide. And then here is the end. And so this lovely scarf is going to be $7 and it is number nine such a pretty pattern okay next up i have a pair of um collars 
So here is the first one. This is an off-white color. It does have a tag. It did have a tag. Oh, there it is. So this is made in China. It is 100% cotton. Um, if it was purchased at the same time as the other collar that I have, um, it is quite vintage, even though it's made in China, because this one, I'll show the tag, which is also made in China, uh, was purchased from Payless. And <laughs> Payless, oh gosh, has been gone for about 30 years. So uh, yeah, I would say that these even though made in China, you know, has been around for about 40 years now, I would say that these are probably in the 25 to 30 year old range. So this one again is an off-white one. And then this one is white. And you can see it does still have, it has the button also. Oh, this one does have a button and a hoop to hook it, a loop to hook it on. And then this one is more of a lace style. Um, it does have the made in China and then still the original price tag on it. And so for both of these collars, there we go. They are going to be $8 for the pair, and they're number 10. All right, I've got some fun, colorful crochet doilies up next. So this one is a square. It is eight and a half by seven and a half. And this one is going to be $3, and it's number 11 for the square one. Uh, that is the only square one I have. The others are round. And so this one, I think, is done with the same um, uh, yarn that variated with the pinks. And this one is an 8-inch round, and it is $3. And it's number 12. This one is blue with a white center. It is seven inches round. And this one is going to be $3, number 13. The next one I have is also a seven inch round, and this has the red and pink and white variated. And this one is going to be $3, number 14. And then this is the last of the crochet doilies I have for this one. And you can see this one is white, purple, blue, and yellow. And it is an eight inch round. And this is $3, number 15. Okay, next up is a large flower sack towel. It measures uh, 34 inches by 32 inches. It is very large. You see, here is, <laughs> here's half of it. Woo! And then it has this lovely embroidery iron day. And there's the little bear with the iron, ready to do some ironing. And this towel, again, 34 by 32 inches. Here's the back side of the half. Here is the back side of the embroidery. And this adorable towel is $10, number 16. I'll get a 
good shot. There we go, Iron Day. And that again was $10, number 16. Okay, this is an interesting one. Um, so this comes in this beautiful case. It has a sticker on it and it comes with a brochure and it's Italian. So here is the brochure. This, uh, says where they are in Italy and has all kinds of information about their woven textiles. And then what I have here is a 12 by 12 square. Isn't that something? Oh, it's so pretty. Here is the back. And I want to make sure my lighting hits that um, pattern just right so you can see how lovely that is. And so this again, 12 by 12, might have been just a sample, but oh, it sure could be used for a beautiful doily now. Uh, this is going to be $10 and it's number 17. And you'll get the brochure also and the um, beautiful sticker that came with the original packaging. <laughs> Very fancy Italian. So you'll get all of that. All right, there we go. Keep it back in its nice protective case. Um, okay, up next is another different kind of item. So it is a bag, possibly a wine bag. I did not see a label. I'm going to double check and see. Nope, I do not see a label. So for some kind of a bottle. And then there is this, I guess, to put around probably the neck. You get this lovely, um, uh, well, it's a knot, a Chinese knot. And then there is this piece. And I'm not sure if this is plastic, it kind of feels like it could be plastic. Um, it doesn't have a coolness to it. Or I think that maybe they were really fancy and put jade there, but I think it's just plastic to look like jade. So this is a fun little set. And it's going to be $5, number 18. Oops, don't want to lose that. There we go. All right, then I have an embroidered towel in a beautiful pink color. If I hold it back, you can see the pink. My lighting might be washing it out. And then it has these embroidered flowers on it. Oh, it's so pretty. Goes around to the back there where you can see the flowers. Uh, so just a nice hand towel that measures about 13 inches by 19 inches. So lovely for a guest bathroom. And this towel is going to be $5 and it is number 19. And then I have an kind of aqua blue, aqua green color. There we go. <laughs> and then it has green and yellow flowers. Again, beautiful for a guest bathroom. This one also measures 13 by 19 inches. And it's going to be $5, number 20. All right, so that is everything I have for the linen sale. And again, if you're interested in claiming any of the items, just put the number associated with it in the comments below. Um, I'll let you know if you're the first to put it in there and you've got it, or if someone else has already claimed it. 
And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and share it out to the YouTube universe. And I will see you next time.